FaceTime conference chats or... No, it's just you and us. Right. Well, can I mention about the thing here? Uh, yeah. A film I seen on Google last night. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you might have seen it, Tommy. Zeitgeist. Have you heard of it? Vaguely, yeah. What is it? It's worth a watch, Tom. You know, regarding like the 9-11 thing you've got coming up and that. Yeah. Well, in connection that, with that, you know, it should be a, what do you call it, compulsory viewing for my money, really. What, so. do, you re- what, what do you reckon about 9-11 then, Colin? Do you reckon it was a bunch of 19, 19 ragtag terrorists armed with box cutters? It was an inside job. You reckon it was what, CIA, FBI, yep. Mossad, the it's Pentagon? It's what governments can do when Rums- they're... Vatican. Vatican were involved. When the public goes asleep. I'm astonished that the media hasn't picked up on some of the questions that have been asked on the internet well, about 9-11. I, I've been on that Scholars for Truth thing and that... That's and, you know, brilliant. I mean, that is bloody yeah. brilliant, that site. These people, oh, yeah. they're not not—they're not, nu- they're not nutty conspiracy theorists sitting that's in the attic that's working that's out the shot and the trajectories of the chicken shoe in Dallas. These are architects, colonels, uh, senators... Uh, demolition, experts, demolition experts, physicists. Got half hundred and eighty them. Yeah, but no journalists. There's no journalist has gone. Has gone. Whoa, hold on a second. Those buildings can't have fallen like that with a plane going into them. But when it comes round, this the anniversary thing goes. Well, it's not an anniversary, is it? You know the. When it comes up again this year. Yeah. Uh, we should make a protest, or you know what I mean, like You've got to start building up to get people aware of this sort of question, these questions and um, just question things that you've been taking for granted for too long, I think. Or, I bloody agree with you. Um, Colin, I've got your address. We'll talk about it. When I, we'll do a Skype chat during the week or something. Yeah, yeah mate? Get back to you on it. Nice talking to you. Thanks for your Thanks Skype. You, Tom, yeah, Thanks, cheers. Colin. Hey, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Good. Shall, shall we do? A, shall we pan the webcam around a little bit yeah. so that we can take a look at the studio? Do, go, do, Duncan, give us a guided tour of the well, Play Radio we, Studio that's the A. Club. We um, we talk about Stuart and to Stuart a lot, and there he is. He's a fine figure of a man. There Let me is. just interrupt you. Just bookmark that for a second. See, I'm learning jargon. Bookmark. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you're on your PC and you want to have a look at uh, what is an, uh, now an, uh, an increasingly sophisticated uh, webcam setup with properly you know motion picture streaming cameras and everything Stuart's about to tell you how to do it you go to your web browser and you put tommy boyd dot serve beer dot com and that's all and you the need the web to browser do. is a little bar along the top that you use you, for google where or you whatever. would type www so you go google. www dot no 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 www no, no, just no. tommy boyd dot serve beer dot com okay excellent Right. Um, good. So, so that's Stuart, and we'll uh, we'll go around, and these are these are nice, you know, studios. The studios, but it's um, it's a tasty little studio here. Pe- I noticed on the chat, r- the people chat board, reading. people want to know what's on this whiteboard here. Um, well, it just tells you uh, what to say on the radio. Uh, so you go around <laughs> here. <laughs> there you go, and uh, that's 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 how we get in and out. <laughs> and uh, um, this fella here is, uh, I forgot your name. Matt. Matt, he fancies Julie Finnegan. Uh, then we have our, our two guests today. We have... Jamie. Jamie. And uh, we have uh, Laura. Uh, J- Laura's a journalist. What do you do, Jamie? I work here. You work here. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. I didn't need to say that with such disdain. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we come we come round and there's, uh, there's Tom. And... Uh, there's, uh, Excellent. There we are. Sorry about that. It's <laughs> beer. Uh, so that's, that's that. So, um, Where do you journalise, Laura, if I may ask? Um, in Banbury at the moment. Uh, in Banbury. So in Oxfordshire. Very nice. Yes. Okay. Got flooded. Mm. Yep. Had my wellies on. It yep. It was brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, I always feel for journalists. That was it. What, are we talking print journalism here or broadcast radio. journalism? Radio journalists. I always feel for broadcast journalists mm. who are sent out to something like that. Because what can you say? It's wet. <laughs> yeah. It's that still was wet. Much it. yeah. Join me again in half an hour yeah, because you... I'll be telling you again <laughs> that it's wet. <laughs> yeah, it Hello, you... I'm back. It's wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not any wetter than it was, Doug. Who's your anchor? <laughs> um, well, we, there's a Peter. Guy named Dale. Dale, well, yeah, right. Yeah. Do you have to start by going, well, Dale? <laughs> yeah. What? That's the Americans. They give us that stuff that doesn't suit us. Yeah. Because we're not like that, are we? Not at all. Yeah, Dale, what happens is Dale should just say, um, and Laura's there, and you go, well, it's wet. Yeah, yeah it's wet. But you don't. <laughs> you have to go, 
Well, Dale. Yeah, you have to like intro it, and that's yeah. what you need. Mm-hmm. No, it's silly, isn't it? Yeah. It'll make your, your your ratings will go up though, because local radio likes floods, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. It's perfect, isn't it? Perfect. Good local story. Yeah. Or a snowstorm. Snowstorm. Yeah. yeah. Local. Snow. Did you have a flood line? Yes, we did. Go and bet you did. Yeah. <laughs> and what, 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 what are you going to learn? Do you know what has really annoyed me? I, and I've seen a lot of dead sandbags around uh, where we live, and they haven't done any good. But how can they? Because yeah. any kid who's ever tried to do that thing on the beach, you know, you <laughs> build a little thing to start the scent and work. <laughs> so what on earth makes the government and the army think... <laughs> That sandbags at your front door is going to keep out three feet of water. And yet you see them in the town square filling up sacks. And sacks. Does water not get through sacks? Oh, I think it does. Does water not get through sand? Any kid will tell you. And so there they are. They've got all their sandbags at the front door. And yet their hi fi's float. <laughs> it's uh, crazy. Uh,. It's uh, 32 minutes past the hour, wherever you are listening to this, apart from one place in India, which is 20 minutes out. Uh, yeah. We still have... I, yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. 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 The whole world, it's 32 minutes past the hour, right? From Alaska to Zimbabwe, it is 32 minutes past the hour, whatever the hour is, okay? Except for a little place in it. Well, not quite a big place in India, I guess. Um, where they decided to be 20 minutes out. <laughs> 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 so, at the moment in India, it's 10 so <laughs> how, does, how does that work? <laughs> and what happens when they're bringing the, the sheep over across the way? <laughs> they're constantly faffing with their Casio. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me <laughs> I'm fucking Mr. Neighbours again <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit <laughs> This egg is very hard <laughs> Oh, Anyway so, yeah. Right Good Gary wants to know if uh, Play Radio people by the way Gary wants to know if he can buy a copy of the whiteboard For a mouse mat or a poster from the Play Radio yeah, shop. That's a good idea. We do that. There you go. We've had people trying to read this. They're, using, trying, they're, they're, trying, this. they're trying to enlarge the picture to read it. <laughs> Most radio webcams are just ludicrous, and yet the broadcasting industry spends a fortune mm. on the webcam, which refreshes every two years. It <laughs> still shows the same jock. And I'm just going to mime it like this. And presumably people log on. Yeah. Yep. Now, to make the world a better place, I've been looking at, uh, I was watching an American film about a week ago, and they were driving along the highway, and some motorbikes went past, (laughs) and she looked at him and just went, organ donors, (laughs) and it got me thinking, so I did some research. And I have nothing but respect for the motorcycle community because I think they're very brave people. Um, And they're making the world a better place because a motorcycle uses much less petrol and therefore less carbon (coughs) emissions, uh, you know, than even a smart car. So there's a plus there. Mm -hmm. Also, congestion, obviously, Mm -hmm. is aided because one guy on a motorbike takes up less space than one guy in a 30-foot Volvo. So power to them. Um, However, that thought provoked me to have a look at the whole business of uh, organ transplants in this country and I was so surprised by it that I on Friday uh, enrolled. Is anybody else here an official organ donor with the NHS? Good man. Well played Laura. Two out of the f- yeah, 40% at play radio. Um, do you know how many guess, uh, we'll make a game of it. <laughs> Um, how many organs can get harvested from a corpse can I just have we we got a buzz have we got a buzzer and a bing on your thing (laughs) no no, oh no oh god (laughs) now drum roll (laughs) (laughs) no I like it (laughs) let's let's do yeah uh, what can we call this Uh, we can call it organ bingo organ bingo (laughs) Ben in the chat room says he's an organ donor don't know why though because these are all Okay, lovely. Yeah. I um, when organ doning started up, 
uh, a friend of mine worked for Anglia TV, and she, I said, what's going on today? She said, I'm interviewing that Ken Lawrence, who was Britain's first successful heart transplant. Uh,